In this video I'd like to show you the basics of a line layout in the applications. It's the second from the left. It shows a box with a corner cut out and a line highlighted. It asks me to select a line or arc for reference. I'm going to go ahead and select this external wall here. As soon as I touch on it, it uh, shows arrows from one direction. If I touch it again, it shows it uh, reverses the direction. And you see that green number at the moment, 3317, which is from the start point. And essentially what I'm doing is turning the start point from one end to the other. The circle and crosshair rep represent my prism and the center of the prism. And again, you can see the uh, blue line. There's a perpendicular distance, which is 3.331 meters from the line. And as I move my prism, you'll see that that changes. So as we get close to the line, the number reduces, always focusing on that line. And then as I go to the opposite side, it shows a negative number and goes to the opposite side. So that's the very basics of line layout. We have a few options. So if I bring the options menu out from the right hand side, just by touching that menu bar there, you see it's got create and measure. Um, points to line, if that's selected, it shows the functions I've just ran through. Deselect that and it's telling you that there's a point along that line. If I change that to with an offset of, let's change that to 1. You see it creates a point along that line with an offset and then it asks me to get to that point. So it's, it, it, it's point creation, creation using that line of reference. On the create, we have some options here where we can create a line within the uh, within the function. So if I go line, it says select two points. I go control point one to two, <coughs> create a line, and then it automatically asks you to set out to that line. Do the same with an arc. So if I go arc with two points, change the radius to say two point five meters, and select one and control point two. <coughs> it creates a line with a radius. The line shift is something which is commonly used. So if I go back to just measure, click our original line, go to create, and line shift. If I do an offset, let's say this is an external wall, and I want to create um, a footing, say 200 mil. <clears throat> it puts it 200 mil off of that external wall. If I want to dig out the other side, again it's 200 mil off of that wall. So by tapping the line, what you do is you shift the direction. When it's on offset, you can shift the orientation, so it will put it on the opposite side. You can move it along the lines. So if I do that, something extreme like 10 meters, you see it's moved the start point 10 meters. And the final option there is rotation, which is pretty obvious. 90 degrees puts it 90 degrees to that line. And that's about it for line layout.